Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we'll be going over the new Briar's Bind Azotic Gauntlets and why it may be a good replacement for Seeking the Filaments. Now, if you enjoy using Voice Souls a lot, then this Azotic is going to be your best friend with how impressive it can really get. I'm going to show you the best way to use it, and from there, you can use and abuse it until all that is left is just Void Souls. So, to start, you're going to want to have Chaos Accelerant, where your grenades can be overcharged for a different effect. Then you want Child of the Old Gods, where upon crafting a Rift, you cast a Void Soul. Damaging a target with Void Soul will drain them and give you back Grenade, Midi, Class Ability and Health for the user. The plan here is to use Briar's effect and combine that with the Child of the Old Gods effect to create a non-stop death zone that will slow, suppress and weaken all in one. Like a maze of death, as long as we keep our class ability at full, it becomes extremely hard for enemies to avoid the following when on land or in air. Even using your scout grenades, which is a recommended choice, will be useful as once charged up, they can also track and apply a heavy dose of damage that is even harder to avoid with the many obstacles in the way. From here, ideal fragments to have would be Echo for Starvation, where picking up a Void Breach or Overpower grants Devour, Echo Instability, where getting grenade kills grants Void Weapons Volatile Rounds, Echo Explosion, where Void Ability Final Blows cause targets to explode, and Echo Persistent, where Void Buffs applied to you are increased. You can't really improve the Void Soul further here, as it's already pretty strong in its own right. With that being the case, you can maximise your survival further by enhancing your grenades and weapon usage for an easier time while out on the field. Volatile Rounds and Explosion make taking out enemies caught within our Void Souls a lot more easier with its AoE crowd control effect. And at the same time, having the ability to use Devour without an aspect pushes the build to be more aggressive on targets so you can easily sustain its overall effect. Generally, this is going to be the best thing to aim for when maximising the build in a much harder content down the line. For the mods and stats section, recovery at tier 10 and your discipline at tier 10 is suitable for the build from here onwards. The main one you must focus on is recovery speed as this combined with Briar's Bind and All God's effect is what will sustain the build for long. If you can't reach tier 10 recovery then do not worry as tier 7 is fine as we can then add on the front of restoration mod for a plus 30 towards the stats onwards. Your discipline at tier 7 is also fine to keep how it is as we can make use of the necessary font mod, which will provide us with a plus 30 towards the current stat we have, so overall tier 10. This does not need additional mods, so you should be fine with what you have here. After that, you are left with armor charges to deal with, so having a charge up times 1 mod will expand how many charges we can carry once we collect an aura power. After that, having the firepower mod, harmonic cipher mod, reaper, and powerful attraction mod will further help with creating orbs at a faster rate and collecting them as well. All of this will be built into the Void Weapon Surge mod times 2, which will provide the user a 17% damage buff for as long as we keep our charges up and going. Combine that with a time dilation mod, and we can do some serious damage with the build, which will be handy with the specific weapon we are using in mind. Now, weapons being used is the title SMG with a pulse of brace and envious assassin. Although it's not possible to get the following weapon until it's given the vent is back, the following does offer some strong perk combos that are worth investing in. If you're using Echo of Instability Fragment, you can make use of the RP perk to provide a small Obus Shield for that extra level of protection, which will be handy when collecting your Void Souls. The main reason though for this selection is because of its Origin trait, which gives us a 5% class ability energy back per kill made. This is powerful when combined with Envious, as with a large magazine size to aid us with getting kills, it will easily allow us to recover class speed energy back in seconds. However, for new players, nothing specific is required here if you don't have this weapon, as just having a high recovery stat will be more than enough. Heavy will be the same for newer players, as any heavy of choice is fine. If you have run the DSC raid, then the combo ration is going to be useful for a lot of encounters you play. Ideally, Redirection and Reconstruction is going to be the top tier PE role you want, but if you only care for the Origin trait, then go with whatever. The Weapon's Origin trait allows us to get the Ability NG back when dealing hits with the weapon. 
this is small at first, but it does add up over time when you apply something like reconstruction in the mix. Now, Briar's Binds, introduction in Season of the Witch, has shown us just how stupidly powerful Void Souls can be, where you can make multiple versions of them all at once with little to no cooldown. Although I have been personally a strong advocate for Secret's Fallament usage for both casual and end game, Briar's Bind seems like a vast improvement of what Secant can offer. Not only can you make multiple Void Souls at once, but you can also pick them up and extend their usage by a mile away. The implications of such a build in GMs allows users to easily lock down, suppress, stun, weaken, and control areas that are highly contested. Its ease of use allows players with minimum fragments to easily put anything on and still gain really good results no matter what you have. And weapons as well don't need to be highly focused to improve the benefits that such souls provide. If you look at my loadout, it's more for a casual theme since once endgame activities do open up, this can vastly be switched to companies such switch up in tactics. Having two weapons that generate class ability energy is definitely a must if you want to easily produce multiple souls in a small amount of time, but at the same time just having the mods that grant a large amount of energy back is also reasonable enough. Overall, if you haven't gotten this exotic just up yet, stop what you're doing and go get it now, as this is possible to be one of the best Warlock exotics to date and I could possibly see this being popular for the coming raid race. But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.